Guys, really good kickboxer. He's trained like, I don't know, 12 years. <laughs> Came off the street. Really good at the outside stuff. Going over some basic stuff on like plum clinch, tie clinch stuff. So grab me with pummel, right? We'll do one too. So, guys, number one, you can't have your elbows too high. If I'm too high here, put your hip. Here, here. So, most guys are there. Right away, I could be hip blocking the knees, whatever. And right away, I can like wrestling. Boom. And there's my Muay Thai dump. Very, very energy efficient. Ties do it all the time. So the second a guy wraps, if he's aiming his hand at the head and he's wrapping too high, okay, what I mean is this, just one inch or two inches better yet, especially for MMA so he can't shoot under. Yeah, so here, can you get out of this and punch me and do all your things? Yeah. If I'm here on even a single collar tie, yeah, now I can friggin' manipulate his whole structure and it's a leverage. The arm is a uh, teeter-totter leveraging arm there. You know what I mean? So, now he's got pretty good, go to the bold spot here. If you have trouble getting in because his elbows are tight and he's maybe got your structure over, always walk your hips in. We're just talking about getting in if you can't for this pummel. Dip your shoulder, one, two. Now doing the rear is a little easier, go ahead. Dip one. They keep this structure yeah, immediately. As soon as I even got a single collar tie, you go from chin down to chin up as soon as you're, you know, head up, forehead up, eyes up. Here. So it's easy to dip this one if he's tight. You guys can see that dip. So I'm going to drop my hips a little bit and make sure, even if he had me like really good, I got to get my hips in and get there. I could with the lead one too. And the key to that, I'm going to dip a bit, is don't. Don't fight his arm at an angle. It's angled plane stuff. I have to dip and guide my hand straight up so I'm not fighting against the friction of his own arm. I'm gonna dip up. So that's one thing. Now, of course, I would want my head tight, temple, temple, and all that. So we'll just do the simple one, one, two, one, two, drill. Ready? One, two, one, two. He's got good in there. One, two. Two simple pummeling stuff and always strong neck. Yeah, oh, he's got me good now. Okay, so the leverage is here, even though he's smaller, pull me down a little bit more. Oh shit, there's the leverage. Why? Because I really he's really got this leverage on his right elbow right now. So I am really fucked. Can you sorry, excuse the language? Can you screw me as bad with the left one too? There. Now yeah, there. Yep, so leverage point there. Yes, 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 yes. But if he gets a little too high, again, in on the dump. If I can't walk my hips in and get their pommel in. If they're too tight, I can do all kinds of things. For MMA stuff or street self-defense stuff, I would smack him. I can even do this in Muay Thai. I should probably do it. Even a cup blow with a, here, boom, here. And I knee bump this and I throw him using more Yes, the stomach concepts, we can do it in, in Muay Thai. It doesn't matter, right? Make sure you exhale with so you're here, you're loading your knee. <laughs> so I just give him that, guys. So he could be hip blocking. So from the hip block thing, uh, give him the palm spit. Ah, and there's one. So that one's really, really efficient. That's my straight one, my combatives one. But guys should be doing it in kickboxing too, especially if you're already like parallel framed here to block these or you're hip blocking. Okay, another one is pinch really tight. Oh shit, I'm screwed now, right? Well, I can go with this. Instead of this frame, if you're so tight it's not gonna work, I can come here and look at that. Bang, bang. You know, skip that knee up to the head, the second one. Really easy. So what I did with that is underneath a palm grip on the elbow and a head toe. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna have you, so if I have you too tight and I got you forward and you can't like, you can't get in, right? Yeah. No, yeah, under, under, yep. I don't know. Make sure you grab that with your fingers pretty strong, yeah. Here, now put the left one on my, my temple. Cross okay. it, cross front, yes, and peel. So, um, grab it again. So this is a steering wheel. So I'm in here, bam, 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 blocking, blocking, and I'm screwed, one, two, three, he's gonna hop them up eventually. Right, bam. He's gonna start, keep breaking that structure and do like, you know, multiple knees. And you see guys, they're okay, the first three, four, five, and then they're knocked out on number nine. Okay, so here, it's one under, so I might be here anyway, right? So it's right there, here. This one's gonna come on top of the head here, 
near your temple. So I'm gonna come on top and cup, I'm doing this. This uh, gooseneck. So I'm goosenecking over, bam, bam, you see where it is? So it's this tight, tight little go-kart steering wheel. Power of the circle. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Power of the circle, power of the circle. Okay, so tight. Uh, try to get one. Yeah, a leverage. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go really, really tight again. Let's move you to this side. Right here. So I'm fucking tight with these elbows together. Pitch. Yes. On top. Better. Try and get. Uh, try and get on, on, on this the side there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? You're stepping up. Yeah. Boom. Now knee the liver. Ugh, and then keep pulling the head leverage. It'd be, you know, the head on the second or third one. You see how bad I'm screwed? You're out of that really, really good. Most guys don't know that one. Um, and I find it, like, incredibly efficient. That's if they're super, super tight. So, kind of tight, you just pump line. A little bit tighter, make sure I dip and I'm guiding my hand and it has to be instinctive. Super tight is that, and then there's maybe some other stuff in between. So if he's got me, and there's somewhere in between, um, I like the elbow frame here. Uh, it, it, this one's more efficient, so it's here, elbow here, I'm gonna back it, boom, break him off, and usually I go to a two, three, two, but the power is in the back of it, the power is in the footwork. Um, and you kind of already knew that one, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so the frame under to yeah, yeah, yeah. over. Okay, so you can add that in, but the real thing is, is the power here, but it's not power in the shoulder, it's power in the lever. So this is like a Kung Fu thing. My, there's a Wing Chun bong sao. It's a bong sao, man. It's a framework, because frames and structure, bone structure beats muscle. So here, get solid. And make sure you're using this though, is like your fulcrum would literally be there, but you're kind of using this as the fulcrum or the pivot point, I guess, pivot point. It makes your foot, yeah, but it comes off of this. That's where you get the power for this. See how it's connected with the back of it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah. Uh, yeah, go, man. Do your thing. Yep. Boom. And then wow, right there. Or I go two, three, two because in the MMA perspective, it's, it's a lot of times. If he happens to have a plum and pushed you back to the cage, or he had a plum and he managed to circle you because you're bad with knowing your hips, so he started to get your structure, and you didn't walk your hips back, and you can pivot me off and go for that. So then I can instantly make my leveraging frame, boom, and I'm off the cage. Uh, I talked to the guy and he did it at UFC 33. Uh, I'm not gonna mention the name, but uh, he did that in the UFC. Okay, uh, let me show that one more time. So here, if I did it the other side, guys, here's the elbow, but the important part is here. So we're in here, boom, boom, and I'm out. Do that, you want to do that one more time? Here, boom. Uh, yeah, I like the elbow. Right? <laughs> right? And so I already got you, got to get out of the habit of letting me control you. Yeah. Instantly, and we should, I, I hope I'm not going too hard, but as soon as I get you, you gotta be going. Okay. We're, we're chin down on fighting guys and jujitsu and boxing and Muay Thai. Yeah, I'm outside striking. And then as soon as even a single collar tie, it's this. It's turtle. Where your eyes go, your head goes. Okay. Yeah, make sure the power's in the back. The back hit it more though. Give it a, a, a quick twist. There. Yeah, you like that? Does that work? So, um, well, I mean, guys will teach this, and this is okay. And if we're getting beat up, it's like simple, simple, stupid. Do you mind if I? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, simple, simple, stupid. Guys will do it, but it really should. I mean, you could do this stuff too, right? Head tilt, head manipulation stuff. But most guys will give it a hard, especially with boxing gloves. It's just easier with boxing gloves. I'm gonna come here and just. But guys don't do it with a, a hard uh, back pivot, right? So I'm gonna come here and make sure that it's with the back pivot. So I'm not just trying to force this, guys, here and get bang, sorry, <laughs> get bang, get, get, get into that. So that's, um, that's one thing. So 
Uh, we'll do some uh, light knee sparring and, and, and try and pull some of this stuff off.